Hey guys, welcome back to video number three. In today's video, we're going to be replacing my initial set of dentures that they put in with a modified version for fitment purposes. And you may notice that these are actually it and they fit great. But anyway, um, I do still have some bruising from my initial surgery. It's been uh, roughly four days and uh, in a few days I'm going to be going back to Boca Raton to have my final set put in and that'll be a separate video but anyway I'm going to show you just the highlights of uh, day number three of them getting uh, removed and installed and then we'll just go from there all right enjoy Well, you when you say widen down here, the so it bottom. can come. Yes, yeah, so it can come more this way. So not the top, but the bottom. Because right now, chin up, right on the side. Oh, here, I see it. We, we I saw see it more it. with the skin. The way that mm -hmm. the teeth lined up, the tooth surface mm -hmm. that's like in contact is not as much as I'd like it to be. So right. I'm just gonna widen the lower I so see, that I it see closes it a little bit tighter. You have solid bite, but I just want more tooth surface. Um, other than that, I think the the way that the lowers meet up with the uppers is good. So the way that they kind of flare out, it's so that it meets into class one occlusion in the front. Okay. Um, 
I don't want to make them shorter. I thought about making them shorter, but if I do, then it's not going to close your bite in the front and it'll be slightly open. Sometimes we do design them that way so that if you're grinding your teeth, you're not like chipping them in the front. However, most patients want that contact. So you leave it for now because you have a night guard for, for when you get your fine. Okay. Um, so as so long as you wear that in the nighttime, that'll, it's not a cure-all, but it'll help to serve as like a barrier in between the teeth for okay. while you're sleeping. When you're awake, you're more conscious of it, so you're not doing it. I guess I gotta learn how to hold, rehold my jaw. Yeah, that's when you're gonna be outside. Always hurt in, in that will come in time. The majority of this is just getting used to like bending teeth because you're going from the teeth you had your whole life to now a new set of teeth that I made in like two weeks. <laughs> so it's it's quite an adjustment, but because it's fixed, it's not like a dent or anything, it's not coming out of place, you do get used to it a lot faster. So there's that. It just takes time. So speaking, eating with it, in the beginning, it's a little easier because you're eating softly. The real test comes after the 90 days. When we, if we don't get to see you, so long as we get the x-ray and everything feels good to you, um, then it looks like you'll pay. Now you can go ahead with more solid food. And at that time, you just kind of like inch your way on in there. Like, you know, just slice up your apples before you eat them, you know, and little things like that. So this way you know your biting force, how your jaw comes together. But all of that in time, you get used to. Just think about like what you were in before, like the teeth that I have now, you know, anytime we have like dental work, you make small adjustments right, to the changes that you've overgone, you've undergone. But now, with your changes being so massive, so long as everything aligns, it gets easier. It just takes time. So long as it's not like sticking out like the first thing. Right. <laughs> I think we should look at some deep colors now, because we're pretty much ready to write it to go to final. So with this last adjustment, we can do another trying, or we can go to final. I feel good either way. It's more so, how do you feel about it? Well, I think just by what you said you need to do, and mm -hmm. you'll do that to the new ones, right? Mm -hmm. I think I like these. They, they look good. I, what you call out is what um, needs to be adjusted rather than that. So, so you tell me, because I'm not saying. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go ahead and go to the final, or you want to try again tomorrow? So let's look at some teeth colors. Um, do you have a, a style in mind as far as like the color that you wanted? Did you want like really bright, glow in the dark teeth? Or you want <laughs> <laughs> not so, not so, not so more great. natural the teeth? More natural. Let me grab the color. You want to do it more natural. Why? It's the same color you have now. It's so white. Huh? How do you feel about this color here? I like it. She liked the... Uh, <laughs> but this she said is too white. Well, the good but, thing about it mm -hmm. is like, whatever color we start with, if it's too light, we can always make it darker later on. Mm -hmm. So like, if you like this, I'm going to show you a color that is similar to this, just to start. The only thing I ask is that you wear it for the three months. After the three months, if I see you at that three month mark, um, just if you want the color adjusted, like if you need the gum tissue adjusted or like the teeth color adjusted, we can do that because these are like little cosmetic things that we can tweak. So I could always make the color a little bit darker. I would just have to borrow the teeth for a couple of days. So if you guys come home back, like are you, you guys are from out of town? Yeah. Okay, so when you guys do come back for the 90 days or the one year mark, whenever you come back, we can make those adjustments. Okay. Um, just bank on being here a couple of days. Like, like a week maybe. Right, Just right. worst case scenario. Yeah. All right. You got any other Yeah. To me, the the gum, I think the gum should be a little lighter, right? Because sure. it's too dark. It's too red. Too red. It looks angry. And maybe right because it's too red, his teeth look so white. Yeah. It could be. It could be. This is this look is at how nice. One. Look at how nice and mellow that is. That's and nice. Then, 
So typically when they do the gummitation color, they can do like a two-tone like this. Mm -hmm. I just say give it a natural looking pink. Not right. too light, not too dark. Right. So this way, because nobody's really seeing it unless you like pull your right. lip up. Right. Which you might want, some people might want to do that. Most people don't. Most people just <laughs> want to be able to function. And not exactly, to exactly. So here's the mirror. I'm going to show you the B1. So B1 tends to be like ballpark color of those teeth, but a little bit lighter. And then I'll show you, yeah. Because if I show you a shade darker, I think the A1 is too dark to start with. I think B1, start with B1. If this that is the lightest good. you'll go, start with this. Yeah. Wear it for the three months. You may get used to it, not even think it's light okay. anymore. Okay. Especially once it's like all together, all uniform. Like, right, you know, right. It's a final set. The final set also will not look like as blocky as these. Right now, they don't have like that illusion of separate teeth. Right, like right, these. right. The finals will have like that illusion. Exactly. Okay. And the finals also don't stain. The only time I've seen them stain is if like the patient was like a heavy smoker. Okay. Coffee is not stain at wine. Really? Like that. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. 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 No, he's a coffee drinker. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs>